In this video I'm going to talk about the partners and testimonials element. Now if you don't know how it looks like just go to either elements partners and testimonials or into the areas homepage. They both have this uh, element. Now as you can see this is the element basically in areas homepage. The element is here too. So I'm just going to uh, work on to this one. So basically this element will add um, some testimonials with a nice display and some partners. Now in case you are wondering why we haven't uh, separated uh, these testimonials with uh, the partners, I actually don't know. Uh, we are, I already created this uh, this element, this bundle of uh, elements and as soon as, as I released the, uh, the uh, new update I kept wondering why I did that <laughs> so sorry about that the, the thing is you can actually just have this part or this part or both so it's actually a bundle and you can uh, you can find a workaround to use whatever you like from the uh, the element. Now I'm going to edit this page with a page builder. I'm going to change the background of this element because uh, it's hard to stay into a, a red uh, uh, too much, red background too much. I'm just going to change this here. I'm going to say this and and I want a grayish yeah something like this yeah that's better so uh, this is the element uh, don't be fooled about the background the background belongs to the section element and the partners and testimonials belong to the column and the column to the section so uh, I will click on the options of the uh, this element so we first have um, an option which is uh, actually let me start here this is the the unique ID of this element perhaps you have want to have a uh, some custom styling so just copy this and you can go to custom CSS and here you can write some custom I don't know margin top 50 pixels something like this so back to the element in this option you can uh, choose whether you want the uh, text inside the uh, the element to be either light or dark this of course uh, depends if you have um, a light background of course you have to choose a dark uh, color for the uh, the text and uh, other elements so moving forward we have the testimonials we have three testimonials and as you can see is you can add more but maximum four so uh, basically you have a freedom to uh, also change the width but I'll get to, into that as you can see we can specify the name Jimmy Ferrara a general manager some testimonial text right here uh, star count of course you probably wouldn't add one star testimonials but uh, I don't know it's good to have it oh Jimmy and then uh, we have uh, you can change the image I would like to say uh, to say thanks to the uh, uifaces.com website which provides uh, some images for this uh, <laughs> these are actually famous uh, Twitter uh, accounts so thanks guys um, we have the layout 
of the testimonial and if I close them you can see that for example these two uh, as you can see this one has uh, the um, name and uh, the position of the person and the image onto the bottom while this one has the uh, details onto the top so you can easily specify this one has to the bottom but you can change to reversed and the details will appear onto the top <coughs> so we got to the testimonial size now as you can see we can have up to five um, I don't know how to call them five sizes if I choose four it will basically stretch onto the whole block basically there are four sizes you can uh, have four rows or you can have even one row with four testimonials it's up to you uh, I thought it would be best to have a uh, a custom width for this and not force uh, users to use a specific uh, layout of uh, uh, sizes so I will switch back to 2 and then we have the top margin now perhaps um, or bottom margin now I will switch this back and as you can see here we don't have any top margin but we can uh, it's actually very useful in uh, different situations um, you might wonder why but you'd be surprised to know that uh, I've used it and it was very useful for me you can create a strange looking uh, layout uh, with the margin here but it's actually just using for uh, I don't know a specific context like I said I needed the option so why not uh, another uh, user so moving on these are the uh, as I said the uh, testimonials so that's about it so then moving forward we have the partners side actually the technologies uh, title right here and uh, as you can see I have a lot of uh, logos here I can even add as many as I want and again like here uh, we can uh, move them we can delete them clone them and edit them uh, in this example I have a logo loaded here and a link for uh, the image and you can also specify if you want to uh, link to another window so I think I covered everything not sure if I did but in case you have other questions feel free to ask me and if you have troubles with this uh, element feel free to uh, subscribe to our forums and my uh, colleagues will uh, uh, help you there so thanks for uh, thanks for um, watching and just remember one more tip if you want to use uh, this element into uh, another page we want into the website simply save this element and say uh, testimonials or whatever you want save the element and afterwards it will appear here into the saved elements so simply drag that saved element and it will uh, appear you can also save a section you can have a look into the uh, video called uh, one second one called how to save and use elements or templates so that's about it. Again, thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Bye.